Uh, Travis Huppert here again uh, for our third and final video uh, for the billiard ball lanyard. Um, in the first two, uh, we got through the base tie, the six by eight five lead, uh, which is the black in this uh, Turk's head, and then we used the interwoven herringbone knot, uh, which again is a six by eight five lead uh, pattern woven in between the base. Uh, we end up with a 12 by 10 lead uh, herringbone pattern um, and then every cord is doubled so it's doubled as well. Um, at this point we're ready to take the tie off the mandrel. Uh, to do so we just remove the set screws. Sometimes it's handy to have if you saw my do-it-yourself mandrel uh, this sometimes is where these little allen wrenches come in handy. Uh, sometimes the tie gets pretty tight around the pin and it's difficult to remove. Pull them all out. Remember too, when you're tying this around your mandrel, you don't want it super tight. Uh, you want to tie it snug, but not real tight. Uh, you want to both slide it off easily and get it onto the ball. A few more here and we'll have it. Like these set screws, they uh, they hold their spot really well. I've tried with thumbtacks or pins um, and different types of cardboard or different types of rolls. And uh, while they work, they always want to fall out. Um, these won't do that. Glass pin. Okay. So now we have the tie. Um, all the pins are out. We can slide it off. It'll hold its shape pretty good. Um, to prep the 10 ball, which is we're going to use the 10 ball uh, for this pattern, as discussed before, it's black and blue, so we'll call this one the bruiser. Um, what I take is a this black tacky tape. Um, this really helps hold the paracord onto the ball. Um, this is basically the package it comes in. It's called a friction tape product. Uh, once again, this is available at Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace. Every store should carry them. Uh, I just do one pass on the ball. Uh, I want the number to show so we'll run it around the center this way. Just gives, uh, these balls are so smooth, it gives the cord a place to uh, bite onto, so to speak. Um, one pass is plenty. I've tried doing more, run the tape up a little higher, it starts to show in the tie and you really don't need it. Um, one pass is good. Um, as far as positioning the ball into the tie, um, I try to get it so that the number and then the handle comes straight out of the top or displays the number uh, like that. It doesn't always work that way as you're tightening it around. Sometimes the pattern moves a little bit, uh, but in general, um, that's the thought. And if you could see the four cords we have coming out right now, um, when I'm done, I want these to all end up in the same spot. Um, same spot on the tie uh, where the star knot will appear. Um, so you can see if I back this this cord here out and these cords here out, uh, my star knot should end up somewhere in the center of the tie, uh, approximately right in this area. So that's, that's what I want to shoot for, uh, not where they're coming out now, but where they will end up. So we'll try to get the ball in there positioned somehow so it looks like it'll end up about where the center of the star knot will be. That's the big piece of this. And you always want to make sure it stays even. I usually push it down together, make sure it's it's top and bottom of the ball, show the same distance from the tie um, prior to tightening. Uh, I usually work through uh, the inner tie first, so the blue one. I would try to tighten that one. Um, I can usually get it in two passes of both colors around. Um, I always start with the inner, work to the outer. First pass, just try to get some of the slack out. Don't get too crazy with pulling it real tight. Uh, and all the while you're doing it, you're going to want to watch that you're staying, staying the balls evenly spaced on the tie. Um, if you're not paying attention, what you'll see is you'll get your tie done, and you'll have this much of the tension in here and this much here. 
which you don't want it's not evenly spaced you want to try to keep it as best you can so it looks the same on both sides the ball stays in the middle I usually tighten a few three four poles through and then readjust the ball in the tie I'll make sure it stays there um, that's pretty much it um, I can go through and tie this one today uh, get it out and once again these are for sale at theparacordis.com and you can find me on Facebook at Naughty by Nature um, I'm not going to go through the process of tightening the whole thing I think you understand the premise um, just go slow check it a lot to make sure the ball stays in the middle uh, use just a small pass of friction tape and those things should get you to where you need to be if you have specific questions uh, just shoot them over to me and I'll be happy to answer them thank you